Hey everyone, and welcome to another custom challenge run in the Binding of Isaac. Yeah, I decided to do a custom challenge run today. I have a run coming from OPGism, and it's called Red Chests, very simply. I have Mom's Purse, The Left Hand, Guppy's Tail, and Transcendence. I skipped the first three item rooms, and we're going to find out how, uh, how great Red Chests are, especially when we run into them all the time. Now, I'm kind of glad that it didn't incorporate luck down pills, but at the same time, if I got a ton of luck down pills, I would have gotten the chest pretty much every room. It's just really difficult to do, and I don't like doing it. I was thinking about doing it myself, but Guppy's Tail is good enough. Now, this isn't a red chest because this was the room that I used to uh, set up the run, so I had it before. That's supposed to be a red chest, though. I definitely have the left hand. I want you to see that. Whatever. Up, oh, tears down. That sucks. Well, I guess it wouldn't be right if I didn't go to the curse room on a run based around red chests. Well, that one was not worth it at all. Man, my tears suck. Oh well. Yeah, I don't know why that wasn't a red chest. I have the left hand for sure. You can see it right here. Maybe it doesn't affect the ones from uh, Tinted Rocks, I guess, but that doesn't seem correct. Still, let's see what we can do on the next time we get a chest. We do, uh, thanks to Guppy's tail, have an increased chance of getting any chest drops and a decreased chance of getting anything else, which means it might be tough to go to item rooms anyway, so, skip, so skipping the first three might not have even been a choice, given uh, the luck I might or might not have. So one thing to expect is uh, that given Guppy's tail, given all these red chests, we're going to be able to become Guppy. Probably pretty easily. Now here's the thing. I reroll this and it'll become an item room item because we're in a normal room. Uh, dead cat. Here is what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fight the boss. I'm gonna see what we come out with from this fight, and that'll determine whether or not I take the dead cat. Because uh, in red chests you're gonna find four guppy items very relatively frequently, and that means it's like if I don't become guppy on this run, it's due to the fact that I skip stuff for some reason, which I'm probably not gonna end up doing. So, I don't know. And, uh, by the way, I don't want to say that if any of you have suggested this, it wasn't your idea or anything. This has been suggested a lot of times in the past, before most of you were here. It'll be suggested a lot of times after this. Uh, that's just the one that finally got me to do it. And it was pretty early, generally, compared to a lot of these. It is an old suggestion, as are pretty much all of the suggestions I have right now, since I haven't been doing very many challenge runs. Which, I've been enjoying more, so, hey, you know, whatever. Larry Jr. is taking a long time, because I, I do have a lowered fire rate, fire rate thanks to that stupid Tears Down pill, but now I know at least. Uh, if we get a health up, I'll probably take Dead Cat. But if not, probably going to leave it? I don't know. It depends how bad, like, if this is Pageant Boy, I'll probably reroll this, and then, um, Wow. And then take the dead cat anyway, I guess. I don't know, it's it's a fun risk to take, I guess. Uh, okay, it's a health up. So we don't take the health up yet. We take the dead cat. We're now one third of the way to becoming Guppy. That lowered our health, but we get health up. And then we're on our way. We don't look in the item room because we don't want any good items to be out of the uh, item room pool. And that's the idea. So today you're going to see Super Meat Boy and Rogue Legacy. Alright, so we know that that's a Tears Down, but we don't know what this is. Tears Up! Alright, so we're actually positive, because Tears Up increases your fire rate more than Tears Down lowers it. So that's good. Anyway, uh, what I was saying is you're going to see Super Meat Boy, and then you're going to see Rogue Legacy. Uh, that's pretty much all there is to that. Uh, I have another first look coming up soon. I haven't picked a day yet, but I think it might be um, tomorrow. So, uh, look out for that. It'll probably be fun. I kind of, I enjoy the game. So yeah, uh, let's, let's say tomorrow there will be a first look. And also Rogue Legacy. Because basically, I'm probably going to have three videos a day until I finish, um, Ratchet Deadlocked. And that's just how it's going to be. I'm sure a lot of you don't mind. But I kind of, I just don't like having that many videos coming out. It distracts from the fact that, you know, there are other videos. I don't know, whatever. Still, uh, that's that's the current thing you're looking forward to in general. 
So look forward to it. You have to. I don't, I'm not giving you an option, actually. If you don't look forward to it, you're just, you're gone. I'm done with you. So this run, I don't know, so far we haven't even gotten any soul hearts from these. At all. Which is astoundingly irregular. I want to make that known. But we have gotten the dead cat, which I don't yet know if I am happy with. But... <laughs> Becoming Guppy would be nice, and we have a pretty good chance of it. Oh, look, a key, so we'll be able to go to an item room. Unless, you know, the game screws us out of the key, which does happen occasionally. Who knows, whatever. Oh, another key, so we're, we're very likely to be able to go to the uh, Caves 2 item room, which is the first one we can go to. Yeah, I may as well fight the boss. Monstro, singular Monstro gonna be pretty easy. May as well destroy all this poop. Eh, eh. And uh, right now I want to talk about Rogue Legacy real quick. So for those of you that watch the Rogue Legacy series, which seems to be a large number of you, which uh, I'm really happy about, uh, a lot of you are trying to tell me how to play the game and I understand the desire to help me, but I really, I'm just trying to experience the game and have fun my way, and if I don't ask for advice, I kind of would appreciate not being told what to do. Because I'm just trying to have fun playing the game, and uh, everyone's expecting me to be really good at it or something, but I'm just trying to have fun and learn and stuff on my own. Now range up, I kind of like range, uh, so I'm gonna... I can't really justify taking it right now because Isaac starts with an alright range, I needed a health up. I like range, but I couldn't couldn't do it. So anyway, uh, I, I really would appreciate if you guys didn't tell me what to do when I don't ask, because it's just it's putting it's like you people expect me to do certain things, and I'm just trying to play the game, and I'm hoping that you enjoy my process. I hope you get that. You know, it's hot. I might need to pull the fan to point towards me. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do that between floors, so just a second. Alright, the day is now saved. Oh god, the microphone fell. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Uh, that was scary. I'm sure that was a loud noise and stuff. I apologize profusely for that. But, oh, I guess we got... Catacombs XL, that kind of sucks. So I'll take one of these two item rooms. I guess I'll take the second one I find. Uh, yeah, I told you yesterday about my currently super ghetto setup for my microphone. And I'm, I'm still working with that. But hopefully that will be remedied tomorrow, Isaac-wise. Hopefully. Never can tell for sure, but if possible, I would like to... Ah, there we go. Uh, I may as well use this fully, because I'm crazy. And then re-roll it. Oh, I don't have a charge, that's why. I thought the game froze for a second. I was like, no, you can't do this. Wait, how did I become Guppy? Oh, oh, I started with Guppy's tail. Ha! Of course! So now I'm Guppy. Which makes my life real easy. So let's get a uh, nice item room item here. Lard? Oh yeah, sure. There you go. Now I have uh, two hearts. It gave me a full heart there because normally uh, when you have no health and uh, you get a health up that doesn't fill the heart, it gives you a half heart to fill it so that you don't just immediately die due to having no red hearts. But uh, Lard also gives you only a half heart out of the two and I guess that's stacked even though... I mean, it, of course it's stacked. So that stacked and gave us that full heart rather than just the half heart that it normally would. So I guess that uh, shows us how the order works that things are uh, done in. So we know that there's a tears up pill right there. Anyway, as Guppy we can fly, but we could already fly thanks to Transcendence, which was just to help us get to all of the pills, I assume. Puberty doesn't do anything, and tears up is great. Uh, yes. Uh, we also spawn a kamikaze fly every time one of our tears hits an enemy, which is great. So, okay, good, red chests. Red chests galore. I mean, I think that this is what it 
what we all expected to happen this run, just like become guppy. I have no bombs, so I guess I'm not doing that. And now I kind of I feel okay about going all in with uh, the paw there. So that's the first item room, so I'm not taking that one, I'm taking the second one. There are two tinted rocks that I haven't been able to get so far. Because, I mean, I haven't got any bombs. I need bombs. So we'll see if we can accomplish that. I like that the Tears Up pill has appeared a couple of times now. That's definitely appreciated. So I remember where the two tinted rocks are currently. Hopefully I remember if we find two bombs. Can't promise, but I probably will. I like tinted rocks, and I need as much of an advantage as I can get. So we're going to be able to take this next item room. Uh, here's hoping it's Mom's knife, I guess. Alright. We have no flies right now. Hey, get out of my face. I hate keepers. Oh, you shouldn't have hit me. That's garbage. Whatever. We're gonna find this item room. Ah, uh, keepers are the biggest jerks. Just spawn all the flies and let the flies... The flies do twice our damage, by the way, which is why they're really great. They essentially triple our damage output when we're uh, getting them 100% of the time. So that's an awesome, awesome thing. All right, a soul heart. That's good. And then this is likely going to be a red chest, so I'm going to go pick it up. Basically, I, I'm going to every red chest that I find, because I think that's kind of part of the run. Now, due to the fact that we went with Guppy's tail rather than um, luck down, yeah, we became Guppy a little bit early, but... If we find Guppy's head, I'm sure we'll all feel satisfied knowing that I would have become Guppy. And maybe, since they're, uh, I mean, I already have Guppy's tail, that could could have appeared had we not picked it up already. Um, maybe that would have already appeared by now and we would be Guppy anyway. Still no bombs. There's our second item room, though, so we can go to that, see what we get. Alright, back to full health, doesn't really matter. Scapular is a totally good pickup, honestly. Yeah, because I'm going to plan on being um, at a half red heart so that it'll work. Basically what it does is if you get down to half of a red heart, uh, you will get another soul heart back, which is nice. It's uh, useful. It's like getting extra health. And in this situation, it would be um, getting an extra five seconds of Polaroid invincibility when we get hit again. All right, that's a chest. We got a soul heart. Happy with that. I really would like two bombs, like very badly. I could go to the shop, I suppose, but I'm probably not going to do that at only six cents. You know what I mean? All right, then. So we're going to find the boss soon. I wanted to destroy the TNT, but at the same time, I didn't want to get hit for it, which I would have at the position where you started in this room, where I started in this room. All right, so we get to go to the deal with the devil. We're definitely going to pick up the Pact, and then we're going to reroll the Monster Man well, see what we get. Pact uh, is damage up and tears up, as well as two soul hearts to make up for the uh, trade you made. The Razor, while good in our situation once we get the Polaroid, is not something I desire. So uh, that's another benefit to red chests, is that they can teleport us straight to the deal with the devil, or angel room, as the case may be, which is pretty cool. So I don't want the tears down. I think we can all understand why. Yeah, I'm really appreciating. Okay, so that's one bomb. So I need I can go back for the first of the two tinted rocks. I'm just going to kind of wait and hope for another bomb. Cuz it's it's not a hurry, even though, you know, there's a chance I get the small rock and that would be great, but at the same time I'm I'm not worried. I'm in a great position to win this game. Oh, hurry up and give me what I want. Or I don't I or don't I guess is what I was trying to say there. Uh, I'm recording this one pretty early. There we go. All right, so let's see what's in this red chest. Nothing I wanted. All right, so now we're going to backtrack. We're going to blow up both of those tinted rocks, and then we're going to fight the two bosses, and then we're going to leave. Sounds like a plan, right? Yeah, because it is. It's like literally the definition of a plan. Well, it's an example of a by-definition plan. I suppose is a better way to say that. On the way we go, I'm kind of slow for backtracking, and that's really the only time speed is useful in my opinion, but too bad I'm stuck with it. Alright, so I guess it just doesn't affect chests from Tinted Rocks, which, well, fine, I guess. Let's open it, though. Well, that was useless. Let's see what you... Oh, darn it. That's why we had an extra. Alright, soul heart and a bomb. I'm happy with that. 
Uh, we didn't really get anything from the first one, so it sucks, but at the same time, whatever. At least we got that soul heart. We're ready for the Polaroid to do great things for us, because we have no red hearts currently, which means that we'll get invincibility on every hit. And also, uh, Scapular, when you only have soul hearts, is even better, because you don't need to have a half heart. It's just, if you would have died, you get an extra soul heart, which is nice. So I like Scapular in this situation, that is for sure. Come on, all right, Husk, I'm hoping for the Fallen, logically. And what that means is, uh, what I'm gonna do here is I'm not going to take this item yet, and I'm gonna see who I'm fighting. It's the Hollow, okay, so I can go take that item, and meat would be damage up and health up. I'm just gonna take it, because uh, I'm not too worried about the whole Polaroid invincibility business even though it's a very smart thing to worry about. First things first, deal with the devil we've already been to. I'm actually gonna reroll this again. Uh, let's just say I could have become Guppy. <laughs> very easily. All right, that's tears down, we already know that. Uh, I don't really want the missing page, but at the same time, there's no reason for me not to take it since I have a uh, mom's purse. Missing page is uh, every time we get hit, we have a 5% chance of becoming, or of activating the Necronomicon, which uh, it's very, very uncommon because again, 5% chance, that's not very much. And the Empress increases our damage and speed on use. It's stronger than the Horror of Babylon, but it's the same, like it's based on it, it's the same item but with a stronger effect basically. 10 bombs, uh, I shouldn't really complain about it, but at the same time, I don't think I need it. And uh, up, up, even more reason I don't need it, so I'm probably going to come back and reroll that. <laughs> the Necronomicon activated. Go figure. So I am clearly kind of slow if I can't get between those safely. Which just means I need to be more careful. This is uh, unknown. Bad trip. Okay, but this is tears up, which is great. Synergizes well for getting more flies, of course. At some point I'm going to max out my fire rate, pretty much. Although it's weird. I don't know why fire rate sort of maxes out so easily when there's not an implied maximum as far as I've been able to tell in the code. Alright, so that's another tears up. We're getting really lucky with those, and I was just making sure that that was the tears down like I thought, and it was. So now let's go reroll, and boom. See what we can accomplish. Demon Baby, I'll take it. Demon Baby is a familiar that will shoot automatically at enemies, but it's a short range and high rate of fire. Still, that can be pretty good. And of course, our familiar's tears will also spawn kamikaze flies in general, which is why uh, familiars are pretty good with uh, Guppy. Eh, eh, don't mess with me. Ah, safety cap, that could be helpful. Ah, Krampus, that's also awesome. So for fighting Krampus, we'll get the lump of coal, well, a lump of coal is what it's technically called, and that'll increase our damage based on how long our tears have been on the screen, up to a maximum of five seconds, which is uh, not gonna happen ever. It doesn't affect the kamikaze flies, though, just so you know, people always ask, it does not affect kamikaze flies. Unfortunately, but it'd be hard to manage. So it's it's a nice damage up though, it's a lot more than people think it is. And that's why I generally don't reroll it. I am going to take safety cap, because that'll increase the rate of pill drops. And uh, that'll also get us... I mean, basically that'll get us more tears ups. And I'm okay with that, I like tears up. And who knows what the other pills are, maybe there's something good. Bad Trip would become full health if we were down to uh, no health, but at the same time that's totally useless because uh, no health for us is not a place where we're really going to get much use out of a full health pill. So yeah. Nope, don't mess with me. Tears down, yes. Let's go find the boss. The boss. Bee lickers are pretty easy. And again, this is another reason I like range. If you get lump of coal, then the more range you have, the more you can get out of um, out of the increased damage from its uh, time on the screen. And another thing about it, though, is uh, shot speed detriments it because it's based on time rather than range. If you have higher shot speed, you're going to get less time on the screen, which means that your tears aren't going to get as much damage up from it. So that's an interesting thought. And uh, for some exact numbers, the lump of coal, a lump of coal, 
gives 0.14 damage per frame that the shot's on screen. And there are 30 frames per second in this game. Uh, that, that's like 4 damage per second or something. 4.2 because it's 21 damage at 5 seconds. So that's really significant. Alright, so we get to go to the deal with the devil again. That's uh, whatever. And we didn't have to fight in the challenge room. Go figure. Let's go to the shop, see if it's greed or not. I don't know, but uh, may as well find out. Can't hurt. It's not. We get the compass. Absolutely going to pick that up. Uh, I can't afford the pill, so I'm not going to buy anything. I don't need the bomb. I'm in a pretty good bomb situation, basically. Let's go fight Loki. It's going to be super easy. Apparently we have a lot of knockback, and I don't exactly know why. But we do that, we get Pageant Boy, which, uh, God, I keep going to the deal with the devil, thinking it's going to be something useful. Anyway, uh, shots beat up. Nope. Guess I'm getting no item this time. That's fine. I don't mind that much. So now with the compass, we can see all the icon rooms generally without knowing exactly how to get to them. But usually that's enough to make a very informed inference and find your way there easily. All right. Let's see what's in our item room. Anarchist cookbook. That sucks. I'm gonna go for one reroll, but then I'm probably just gonna leave. Because I'm very powerful, I don't care that much about what items I get. You know what I mean? I've won with uh, worse than this setup as Blue Baby, recall. Because uh, basically, with, with the Blue Baby run, it was a recent one, I had only a lump of coal as my damage up. And I had Guppy. But. Still, I have more damage up this time, which means our kamikaze flies are doing more damage right now by a lot, since they do twice our damage rather than just like our damage or something like that. Uh, yeah, it's just uh, it's, we're in a better situation now, and uh, we're not blue baby, so we can actually get health ups if we so desire. Definitely in a better situation is all I'm trying to say. We also have a higher rate of fire, I think. So yeah. I'm just going to fight the boss, by the way. I'm not going to go back for a reroll, because, again, we're powerful enough. I don't need to make this, like, the freest of free. I think it'd be interesting if I ended up dying, since I have nine lives. It means that this would become borderline impossible instead of super easy, which I think is more fun. Showing off me having to play cleverly and, um, well in order to win, rather than this is a super free win, because look at my setup. So here we go. Mom fight, normal mom fight, no problem then. That's annoying that that rock is there. Oh, come on, destroy the rock, you fool. Stay away from me. I'm just going to stay near the rock so that the foot destroys it. Thanks. Just in case of that, yep. See, you got to plan for these things. I could cheese this fight by just sitting next to a door, but I don't care that much. Doesn't matter. Nope. All right. Uh, we get a health up, I'll just take it. Yeah, why not? Now we'll drop the safety cap in order to pick up the Polaroid, and we have Polaroid left hand, that's what we want. Be on our way. You're gonna say, why didn't you go to the boss challenge room? And I'm gonna say, because I'm lazy. Very easily could have, but at the same time, meh. Alright, so that's gonna destroy some rocks for us, which have the chance of being tinted rocks. In the womb, you can't tell a tinted rock from a normal rock. So if you have the means, you want to blow up all of the rocks. But I think I'm okay. I'd love to pick up the small rock, however. As always, basically. Although I would kind of... Oh, darn it. I mean, I kind of knew that would happen, but at the same time, I didn't want it to. Uh, wouldn't be bad to end up with some extra soul hearts. Wouldn't be bad to end up with some extra damage. Extra speed is what I'm really talking about, though. Because I am kind of slow, and I wouldn't mind to speed up. I haven't had the opportunity for one, so uh, it doesn't doesn't uh doesn't matter I didn't mess myself up or anything just would uh, would uh, would bleh. I'm really good at speaking I wouldn't mind getting one so hopefully this is a uh, not death or a boss that gives a specific drop like conquest and it's something that can give me a nice speed up as weird as that is for me to say oh wow see see red chests are great giving me soul hearts ah it is Loki too which means the chance at a speed up. Or just, you know, something generally useful. I'd take the pentagram for sure. I wouldn't reroll it in hopes of a speed up. 
Uh, yeah, I'm gonna reroll it for, well, stem cells, which also is a shot speed up, unfortunately. It's a small one, but it is one nonetheless. So we didn't get our speed up. I could have gone and fished for rerolls to try and get one, but I don't care that much. I'm fine with my speed. I just uh, kind of want to be faster to get get things done faster. A little bit. But health up doesn't hurt. I think we're still maybe going the right way, maybe. I really am not speaking well today. I don't know why. But I'm just having a hard, hard time saying things well. Thanks to my kamikaze flies for telling me where exactly the enemy was going to go. Got a buttless chub. The reason for that is so that it doesn't spawn chargers. That's intended in rooms where there are uh, multiple... Well, there when there are different bosses other than chub. So we could go to shoal, but uh, why would I go to shoal? Let's blow up the rock. <laughs> nope, didn't get anything. Anyway, let's keep going. Might be the right way that I was going. It might not be, but you never know, and that's why I gotta keep going. We could also go find uh, the library where you only have three keys. I don't want to use one of my three keys on the library then. I don't generally use keys at this point in the game unless I have over four. Once I'm over four, I am happy to... Uh... Oh wait, it doesn't matter because I'm going to have the left hand going to the chest, which means that all the chests are going to be red chests, so I don't even care. I just use all my keys because I won't need them where I'm going. All right, we touch this and then re-roll it and hopefully pick up the Book of Revelations for an extra soul heart. Nope. Book of Sin gives us a key. All right, whatever. And uh, the other Book of Sin, it relies on the same charge, so we wouldn't be able to use it twice or anything. Don't worry. Okay, then. Fistula is a pretty easy fight in general, but especially in this setup, we kill stuff very quickly. I think that Mom's Heart will also be a very easy fight. All right, what is this? I don't know. Bombs are key, doesn't matter to me. Ha ha! Tears up. At some point this will stop mattering, but I think that might have done something still. Alright, the uh... Why couldn't I move there? That was weird. Anyway, the heart probably will die very quickly. I like that. Going away quickly though. Monstro will be simple. I mean, every enemy is going to be simple here. Which is uh, the beauty of my setup, being guppy in general. But being guppy with a couple of damage ups is just amazing. And that's what we've got. Oh, I'm out of bombs. That's fine. Pills weren't spectacular except the fact that we got a ton of tears ups. But like in general, the pills were pretty bad. Besides our luck at getting one of the, well, the only good one. So we're going to go to the cathedral logically. Didn't get Curse of Darkness miraculously. I didn't. Ex I don't expect this to be the right way, but I'm going anyway, and we've got a beggar, which makes this uh, an all right choice regardless. And I hope to get an item. All right, health up. I'll just take it. We could be going the right way. Don't jump. Don't jump. Don't jump. Don't jump. Monstro, what are you? Monstro 2, what are you doing? Wow, didn't even get him locked there. Ridiculous as that is. In this chest, we get two bombs, so I can get that tinted rock for free, which was one soul heart. I'm happy with a free soul heart. Oh, darn it. Kamikaze flies got me hurt. Oh, oh well. <laughs> See what's in here. Two books that I will re roll. And I think there might only be like two books left. So we use this once for one soul heart, no complaints here. We probably could turn this into a double item room, but at the same time I don't care. I'm powerful. And uh, that's not the point of this run. This run was red chests, and well I guess I'm still going to be getting red chests in the chest, and I'll still get plenty of them, and it'll be funny because I won't get items for them. They'll just be normal red chests, which uh, disappoints many people. So let's use the Empress for a nice damage up as well as some speed that I don't really care for. Uh, but damage helps against Isaac, just because uh, in our situation we're shooting a lot of tears, which means he's shooting back at us a lot, which means we need to do as much damage as possible as quickly as possible given our situation, just so that we don't get destroyed. Because we also have no orbitals to protect us, which, uh, well, that's uh, never something you really want. You always want at least one orbital. 
The fact that we got no cubes of meat is pretty astounding, honestly. That doesn't happen very frequently. All right, Isaac is now dead. Last angelic baby is dead to the chest where we get four red chests. Ha ha. Oh, accidentally dealed with the devil. Um, I'm going to take brimstone. I could go and take spear to the night, but at the same time I don't want to. Uh, so let's see what's in these. <laughs> I was kind of expecting that to happen. That's one reason I could have waited until... <laughs> I could have waited until um, getting a D6 charge so that I could go back and reroll that and get something useful for my situation, but I, I, did, I didn't care that much. It was just really funny that they did that three times. So anyway, with Brimstone, our damage uh, is increased, it's multiplied by three, and okay, I was expecting that one to do it too. Uh, if I happen to... Uh, what? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, I remember what I was trying to say now. Because I have a lump of coal, that is uh, damage plus two rather than based on time. So that's good. It's a very strong damage up. It's just uh, not the same effect, but it just doesn't work the same because our base, like, our, the laser isn't going to be on the screen for like some extended period of time or something like that. So we, we don't have knockback. We should, darn it. I was going to say we should be able to keep these guys both in uh, the, the lock, but that is clearly not the case. Alright, you need to just both die. Alright, one's dead. That's pretty much all I needed. There we go. Still, I don't know if we're going to be able to win. We have uh, alleviated the whole thing where, alright, there's our becoming guppy. Well, I guess I should spawn the flies. Since I am going to re-roll it for sure. Well, what could the pill give me? Tears down. That's good. Uh, anyway, we don't have a lot of health, but we have fixed our situation where uh, we're getting Isaac and Blue Baby to shoot at us a lot because we're not shooting a lot anymore. Now we're shooting small bursts of large damage, which is pretty much what you want. That's like how you want to fight Isaac and Blue Baby best. Okay. We have a good chance, though, because we do have a fair amount of health, especially considering how little we're now shooting. I think this is doable. Unless I take a ton of damage here, which uh, might be happening. Alright, thanks to those. I don't know how kamikaze flies interact with us currently, because brimstone does do laser damage rather than, like, your damage stat. I mean, it's related in some way. Uh, which I just did, it's a different variable. I assume that there's still double R damage damage rather than laser damage, but I could be wrong. So by picking up Bob's Curse, we got poison bombs, which uh, we're going to place in there to do poison damage and stuff. Uh, this is looking real bad. Like, real, real bad. If we can get to phase three, we might possibly have a chance, but oh man. I'm thinking that I might just end up dead. Alright, just calm down, guys. Don't... Why was it shooting so much before? And not now. I don't understand. Oh, God. I almost walked right into that. Alright, phase three. We have a chance. Let's get a bomb in there. Oh, God. Alright, so we died. Let's do a little bit of exploration. There's no way I'm winning on one heart. I'm worried. Don't think we can do this. I don't know why that happened as it did. Alright, there's a soul heart. That's one thing I was hoping for. I'm not going to pick that up because I'd rather have it for the fight. I'm just instead going to see if I can accomplish anything in these rooms for a little while. Oh god, that was terrible. Uh, anyway, three Lokis is kind of annoying. I'm going to see if I can accomplish anything. And uh, then I'm going to go try that out. Alright, I want not to kill Gluttony first. 
Alright, thank you for killing Greed. Darn it. Accidentally killed Gluttony. Gluttony would give me a health up as well as full health. Uh, I would have appreciated that. That's tears up, increases... Uh, well, decreases my charge time, increases my rate of charge. I am going to go back and re-roll the coin. Her, the, the, what am I talking about? Mom's bottle of pills. What am I doing with my life right now? Guardian Angel is super helpful. That's a familiar that'll orbit. It's an orbital. So that'll do a little bit of protection for us. And protection is very essential. Fighting greed is... Oh. Alright, we're going to go in there, of course to uh, get that red chest, and uh, later we'll re-roll. Oh god, we died, right! So we get to farm him and maybe get another one. But I don't want secret room items. Okay. Still, we'll re-roll for a secret room item at some point. That's what I was hoping for, but I don't have a freaking... It's useless to pick up right now. If I had gotten a d6 charge, then it would have been nice because then I could re-roll it to something that might be useful and actually uh, pick it up for some advantage rather than no advantage, which uh, is obviously not very advantageous for me, logically. All right, so there's a d6 charge. There is something to re-roll in the secret room. What could the secret room give me that uh, would super help me out? I don't know if there is a raw liver. That's about it. Epic Fetus wouldn't save me too much. Uh, one up. It's not very helpful. One up, of course, uh, gives us another life, which, well, would give us another life if we had increased health at that increased health it activate before the uh, dead cat, I believe. Okay, get out of my face. Uh, Lust would be great, but I can't kill her last. Her, him, it... Guess we're just gonna go try on two hearts with our newly found guardian angel. Yeah, uh, we're not gonna be able to win, unfortunately. And we can't get down to a half heart so that we get Polaroid invincibility as well as scapular, which totally sucks. But what can I do? I can't do anything. We're screwed. I mean, we we all know that. Ah, oh, there goes my soul heart. Ah, oh, there goes my life. Too bad. I probably would have done better if I had uh, not taken all those health ups, actually. Like, if I had gone for broke and went with Polaroid invincibility at the start of this floor, that might have worked out. Might have. But at the same time, I just uh, don't know if it was the smartest plan. It just might have been the best plan. Unfortunate, but we're, we're just not going to be able to do this. Pretty much no no chance of me winning. I'll do my best, but... yep. So, last chance, I'm going to die. I can pretty much promise that. So, please leave your custom challenge run suggestions in the comments, and I'll do the ones that I like the most, or think would be the most entertaining to watch. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Red chests can be pretty great, and are pretty great. That's why curse rooms are great. Um, thank you for watching. And I will see you next time.